Today I want to show you how to modify an image so that you can save it to a specific size for use on a web page. And so for our purposes we want to use this image on our web page but it shouldn't be as large as it is. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to change the canvas size which is the outer edge of our uh, image for use on our website and we need to make it let's say 100 by 100 and we can do uh, the same thing if we needed to grow it and then stretch our picture out to fill that. So what we want to do first is we want to take our image and we actually want to make that smaller. We don't want to use it um, where it's this large. And so what we can do is grab a corner of it and then shrink it. But if you notice when we shrink it you can actually skew that image. And we don't want to do that. We want to maintain that same aspect ratio. And so we're going to click on or we're going to hold down the control key and hit Z and it'll undo what we just did. Same as using these buttons up here. It'll undo and redo whatever we do to the image. So what we can do is hold down the shift key. And if you notice when I hold down the shift key it maintains the aspect ratio. So we just want to make it smaller in here and then we want to center it. Um, and you can see when it's centered you'll have these crossbars that'll come up. So now our image is centered. Now what we want to do is we want to actually change this canvas size. So we'll select the canvas just by clicking on it. And we can go here to canvas size and we're going to say, well, we don't want it 256 bit. This image has to fit into 150, not 1500. 150 by 150. That's our, uh, our thumbnail size. And so we'll click on OK and you can see that it actually resized the canvas and our image is a bit small in there, but we can adjust that um, by dragging it down here. Uh, we'll start off somewhere close to the edges and then again we're going to hold shift and we're going to go ahead and we're going to expand this out so that it fills it and then we're going to recenter it in here. And that's it. That's how you change your canvas size to make an image a specific size. And then from there we can go to file and we can simply save it uh, and then I'll overwrite the file we have or if we do a save as we can save it with a new name. That's what I would recommend saving it with a new name and then keeping the uh, image size and the name so you know which one it is.